Hi, my name is Pamela Adukuki. I was supposed to say hi, guys. <laughs> hi, my name is Pamela Adukuki, and I'm a digital marketer or brand influencer or amplifier, so they say. Um, the first social media platform I joined, I'm trying to think, is it Facebook or Tubo? I don't even guys remember Tubo. I'm trying to think it was the one that came out first. I did Facebook in 2006. 2006. Mm. I was at a cafe and I basically went there to do nothing. I knew people go to cafe. I had no idea what happened there. So I went there on a normal day. People were opening emails, I decided to open to, so I had an email which I still use up to now. That is my main email address. What made me stay long on Facebook was there was this girl I liked, not in my school, I didn't ask that I saw her on Facebook. I was like, wow, then I followed her, that girl did not follow me back, child. Then I, and I sent friend requests, but she did not accept. If they tell you um, seven, ten years ago that um, influencing pace, you'd be like, what is that? If, you, if I tell my mom um, or my dad some six years ago that mom, I actually want to be a social media influencer, a digital marketer, I'd be like, <laughs> show me a picture. Um, they have to translate that in case of those that don't understand. Thank God for COVID. Or in quote, People now work remotely. You don't have to actually come to an actual office space to work, all thanks to social media and, um, and the rest of it. For people like us that uh, are more into digital marketing and influencing and the rest of and I keep saying and the rest of it. <laughs> I, need to, I need to stop that. Um, it has given us edge, an edge um, um, among other people, um, ahead of other people. Because if some of us bring that as pay sleep is way higher than what a normal Nigerian ends. No disrespect to any word or to any um, uh, occupation, but there is levels to this thing, and all oh, thanks to social media, it's 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 been great. It's so um, I would say COVID nineteen actually opened brands or uh, opened a lot of things up. Because everybody, everything up, up, is happening online. People are doing party online, on live. People are launching one thing or the other on live, online. So COVID has opened up a lot of things and for brands to be able to embrace digital more. And so it made them appreciate social media influencers because anything you want, you have to use these guys to push your content out there. So it's, it's, it's a good one for what's well, blessing in, in, in these guys, basically. To be honest, it, there's, a good, there's always a good and a bad side. Because now everyone wants to be an influencer in some sort of way. Like, oh, if family can do this, family can do that. Or if two supers can do this, why can't I do this too? After it's just, it just on social. Yeah, but at the same time, um, we all can do this. Because if we all decide to be social media influencers, then who are we influencing? Or if you want to decide to be amplifiers or digital marketers, then who are the consumers? Who, has the, who, are, um, who are we selling our, our products? Who are um, those that will be consuming whatever we're pushing out there? You get? So, um, in some sort of way, everyone wants to do this. But at the same time, it has given us the privilege to be able to work remotely from the anywhere in the world. I, I work with a Chinese company and I've never been in, Chinese, in China before. But I know when they resume, I know, so I resume. By the time they resume, they're morning there. I'm resuming here too. It could be midnight, but I'm on my on my laptop working. But nobody knows I'm not in China. Again, so it it has its own advantage and its own disadvantage. Again, everyone wants to do this, but at the same time, everyone can do this. I think the best thing is every company now they have to um, accept that they're existing and they just have to embrace it. Um, working from home has to be a thing. They are all, every company have to um, embrace it. It's actually good for everyone 
come to think of it, aside from the, for the rent, the companies are actually paying. They don't have to buy this every day. They don't have to provide internet in codes. You can scrap that lunch for companies that give out lunch to their staff. You can scrap it. You are saving a lot of money. Allow this to work from the house. Did. For me, I prefer working from home because I can think, because I'm comfortable in my space. I don't have to be, you know, looking at, oh, boss is coming, boss is coming, they have comfort. That's a fake life. You don't have to do all that. I can be in my singlet and I'll be, I'll be drawing up mad as proposals or content. So I think each company, they have to embrace it because the earlier they do that, the better for everyone. You get, so be, we all can't, we all can't be going to work every day. Look at the traffic every day. It's even killing. So the, the earlier, the better. Yes, I work. Am I supposed to mention the company's name? Okay. <laughs> okay. I did that for like three years. And it's, it's, it was a learning process for me. They used to call me the company's last born because I was the youngest and I was very tiny and very, very small. <laughs> so I was the last one of the company, so it was fun. Everyone took me as their younger brother, so that, that helped me to learn. So aside from the family we all know on social media, I have a restaurant in, it's called Lassibo. Let me see my market. It's in Suru, Lere. 59 will go down the drive. So right now we are open, we are open for delivery and pickup, but in about a month's time, the main restaurant should be open. So Lassibo. I have a restaurant, guys.